Hi and Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to my channel Rise from the West. Um, I want to talk to you about uh, something that's concerning me. And it's based on the fact that um, people have constantly over the years um, the enemies of Allah, the um, enemies of Islam have tried to destroy it covertly and overtly. And my concern today is about covert destruction uh, and trying to destroy it from within. I would be silly to think that um, none, nothing like that goes on. Just because someone walks around, you know, talking Islam this, Muhammad that, um, that they are a sound Muslim. And the only way we can really, you know, be careful is by their behavior and what they do and what they say. A lot of times you... A lot of times, actually, they they try to draw us in um, at first. You'll get drawn in, you know, pull you in and you'll think, oh, they're, they're, you know, that person or that organization or that, you know, whatever. It's really good, you know, mashallah, they're, they're saying a lot of good things. And then, you know, suddenly over time, little things will start slipping in and you'll think, hmm, that weren't. That's not right. What's that all about then? You know, after they've got quite a big following uh, and people's trust, they'll things seem to slide in. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about anything that's already happened, but I just have some concerns about Islam Channel. Allah forgive me if I'm wrong, but I want to just mention something as a warning to my brothers and sisters in Islam and any non-Muslims who are looking into Islam. On the surface, you can look at Islam channel and you think, first of all, the name, Islam channel. Well, Islam means submission, submission to the creator. So the channel is submission to the creator channel. Now, from that, you would expect everything to the best of its ability, I mean, everybody makes mistakes, you expect everything to be according to the commands of, of, of Allah, of God. You don't expect anything coming from a channel called the Islam channel to be um, broadcasting anything contrary to the commands of Allah. And you have some very, you know, good um, programs, the tafsir of the Quran, the, the seerah of Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, you know, lots of different, I mean, I, I, I don't watch it that often, to be honest with you. But on the last two occasions that I have watched it, once was last year, and this was online on the, on the web, uh, streaming on the web. And then again today. And what really concerns me is both both times it was a teenage girls program. It was a like a panel of teenage girls discussing whatever topic. Now, last year, the same thing. The camera was zoomed out. All of the girls were wearing trousers or jeans and a hijab. Now, in Islam, wearing trousers, jeans with a hijab is not correct Islamic dress. This is not. This is Western, westernized Muslim dress. Now, Islam Channel, being the biggest English-speaking uh, uh, Muslim channel out there, I feel, has an obligation to um, propagate Islam correctly. Because they are going to be influencing people. Now today, the same thing. I thought, okay, let me just pop pop on Islam Channel, and this um, program comes on. These teenage girls, 
and a get. And they're all like, say, maybe, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, this kind of age range. So they're, they're, And they were all um, within the age of accountability to be covered. They had hit that point. Every single one of them was in, I think, jeans, if not jeans and trousers. Now, this to me is very worrying because you only have to look outside nowadays amongst the Muslim community and see our young girls wearing jeans, hijab, je je jeans, hijab, and makeup, or they're wearing leggings and hijabs and makeup. Uh, I mean, you know, they're they're completely um, leaving the modest dress that Allah uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with. This gift that he gave us so that we can be liberated and free. Liberated and free of being um, seen as um, sex objects or objects for man's pleasure. Islam and Allah has given us the gift of being able to be worth more than that. Okay? Now, Islam Channel, I have emailed them last year, whenever it was that I saw this program, and I never got a reply. I said, this is wrong. You shouldn't, they should be dressed properly. They should be dressed in, in a jilbab, which is a long dress and a hijab or at least very loose, long clothing, at least. It worries me because I know when you look outside, you say, well, uh, you know, there's a lot of non-Muslims out there that don't cover. Well, first of all, they don't have to. Secondly, when our kids look at them, they know that they're not Muslim, so they don't expect them to be um, adhering to our rules and laws. But when they see Muslims doing it, over time, they will become desensitized to it. And over time, it will become like the norm. As you can see within the past couple of years, I mean, that short space of time, I've seen the, I mean, the makeup industry must be making a profit on top over the past couple of years. I'm telling you, because these girls are just pli pli piling it on. Lipstick, eyeliner, everything, and going to the mosque. How do you do your, your you know, how do you get prepared for prayer with all this makeup on? I mean, seriously. Anyway, it worries me that Islam Channel is having this panel of teenage girls dressed in this manner of a westernized Muslim, rather than in the manner which Allah commanded and gifted us with. Why are they doing this? You have to ask yourself why. When those who try to destroy Islam do it covertly, a lot of times it's from within. And you have people that are, you know, they, they're trusting Islam channel. They're saying, and then there's people that aren't really that, you know, they don't, they're not that knowledgeable perhaps. And they're saying, well, you know, Islam channel wouldn't let them dress like that if it wasn't allowed. They must have asked the scholars. Well, you know, we have to not be so gullible and we have to not be so trusting because just because somebody has the name Muslim attached to them, doesn't mean that they're always going to be acting within our best interest. Now, I'm not saying that's what Islam Channel is doing. I'm just saying, be careful and ask them and complain about it and say, how can you call yourselves Islam? Ch I mean, if they call themselves Muslim Channel, that would be much better. Call yourselves the Muslim Channel, but don't call yourself the Islam Channel and then broadcast uh, programs which do not adhere to the uh, Islamic teachings. Anyway, I think I've got my point across. I do hope that you don't take it in the wrong way. Um, I'm only posting because I have concerns. I don't trust everybody 
um, especially nowadays. Uh, we have to be careful. We have to hold on to our Islam. As we are told, holding on to it be like holding on to a hot rock. And um, take care, people. You know, ask questions. Boycott the ch boycott the channel. If they're not going to change their ways, boycott that channel. Because at the end of the day, if they're not doing something to please Allah, then who are they trying to please? Their uh, advertisers? I mean, I don't know. Allahu alam. Anyway. Until my next video, um, thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye-bye for now.